It is believed that of all the World War II American air bases in East Anglia, Attle Bridge Air Base has the most remaining American concrete left. Most old buildings are gone, but runways are nearly all intact. After the war, the land was purchased by Bernard Matthews, who turned the base into a turkey farm. When he recently went out of business, his family leased the farm to Green Label Poultry Limited. During the switchover, the new lessee has permitted our local 466th historian, Paul Hindle, unprecedented access to search the entire area. Even with many of the old buildings gone, Paul has been able, with the use of an old map and photos, to find the foundations and identify all of the main areas of the base. This is all that is left of the main hangar where Glenn Miller and his orchestra played for the 100th mission party. Just the concrete floor. Since much of the area has grown up with trees, Paul has been cutting through the brush, searching for and finding several bomb shelter bunkers. He recently found an underground battle headquarters. Noticing a slight indentation in the ground, he took a shovel and shoved it in and hit brick. With a lot more digging, he and his son removed several tons of dirt and rock to uncover a stairway down to the headquarters. Paul and his volunteer friends have also used metal detectors and uncovered many artifacts. If you try and take it out before, that'll just fracture this because they've been in the ground 70 years. And inside is these pallets, black pallets, which are... Air crews had coins in their escape packs. So if they went down, they had money in their pockets and we've, we've found some coins. Yeah. This is a, a window handle. Yeah. Okay. The windows still this, look like that in yeah. the tower building. Yeah. This looks like part of an aircraft because yeah. Shushu Baby blew up like three fields away. Yeah. Oh, wow. And um, uh, yeah. ten, 10 men died and a lot of this stuff went like half a mile away. So uh, a lot of this stuff here is probably from that aircraft. Like pieces like oh, this, oh, aluminium pipe. This one. Yeah. <laughs>
1936 British coin. In May of 2017, Green Label Poultry offered the 466 Bomb Group free use of one of the World War II buildings for a visitor center. They have even offered to help with repair. During the summer, Paul and his volunteers cleared out a lot of trees and brush around the building and discovered a, a paved driveway about three inches below the ground level. There is even a bunker within 20 yards of the building. Paul has enlisted the help of many local people in the work who are very excited about the project. We are hoping that some in the U.S. will be willing to financially help with the project, and we are looking for grant money. We are also hoping to be able to collect items for display at our new center.